Good morning. I'm looking for killer whales and told Andrew Skinner of Great Pacific Adventures is the man I have to see. We were kind of hoping maybe we could go out and see if there are any whales about. Well, I don't see why not. October is late season for killer whale watching. I'm going to need some luck and something else. The suits to keep me dry because in the boat we're taking, there is a good chance of getting wet. It's a 30-foot rigid hull inflatable with twin 225 horsepower outboards capable of highway speeds. Andrew drives listening for sightings radioed in by a network of spotters including seaplane pilots and other boats. It's not long before I get my first glimpse. There it is. They're not killer whales, but humpbacks. You're going to see that back come up and then maybe the tail will follow. We push on, cruising past a couple of rocky islands, catching a chorus from another sort of sea life. It's during a break on shore we get the call we've waited for. Where, what direction are they headed? A pod of killer whales is spotted to the north. It's more than half an hour away, and with the day growing late, we have to move fast. Looking for killer whales can be a, well, high-speed pursuit sometimes. These boats that we're in can go up to 50 miles an hour. With the temperature of the ocean at 48 degrees, the wind chill is pretty severe. But when we get there, the only thing we see is waves. Suddenly, there they are. The tall dorsal fin of a male rises several feet out of the water, the smaller females nearby. For their protection, we don't get any closer than 100 yards. When they suddenly turn toward us, Andrew cuts the engines. So we'll just shut the boat down, sit quietly, and let them pass. It's an amazing moment as they pass just a few feet away. We follow the pod as they make several dives before finally calling it a day. There you can see the golden sun just setting on the horizon there, which also means it's about time for us to do the same thing, just like these wild orchids, and head right off into the sunset. Martin Savage, CNN, Victoria, Canada.